Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's the Miata. We're finally working on it again. I think the last time I made a video on this car where I actually did something with it was over two years ago. It was quite a long time. So it's back. Here it is. And today we're doing a full brake overhaul. And the parts for that are right over here. So we've got new rotors, new pads, new calipers, and because we have to bleed everything, new lines. I forgot I put the box over that. Let's try it again. New lines. So this is not a big brake kit. This is stock replacement. I guess a little bit of an upgrade. These are slotted and drilled versus uh, the plain ones. Is it really an upgrade or not? There's a bit of debate. Uh, I've never had a problem with one of these cracking before, so I think it's fine. Plus, the calipers here are also stock replacement. They're not big brake calipers or anything. They are red, though, which I'll be honest, I've never actually been a huge red brake caliper guy. For big brake kits, sure, but for stock replacements, I generally prefer very neutral colors like black or gray or silver. But maybe it's not such a bad thing for my taste to be challenged here. And then for the pads, they're Power Stop Evolution Sport. The Sport. I don't know if it really means anything to me. They're pads for the streets. They'll do well on the street. So there you have it. That's everything for the brake overhaul. And now we can go ahead and start removing all the old crusty stuff and get in some nice new stock brakes. <laughs> Hey, check out the tire. There's pretty much nothing left of it. Don't worry, we're not putting these tires back on the car. I've got new tires ready to go. While we're doing the brakes, these are going to the tire shop and the new tires gonna be mounted. So when we put everything back together, new tires are going on. I've got to say, there's no better feeling than when stuff just works and comes out nicely. The rotor came out with no fuss, caliper was here as well, also not difficult to remove. Even the brake line here wasn't a problem to remove. It's just such a nice feeling when things work out so nicely. This is my favorite bit when I work on cars. It's not frustrating, it's not stressful, everything just works as it should and it just comes out. It's wonderful. And this means everything here is out. We can throw new stuff in. And done. Rotors in, calipers in, new pads are in, and the new line is in. That felt way too easy, but I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Still have to do everything on the back, so let's get to it.
man. The one rotor that's stuck on this car. All the other ones are fine. Of course, it has to be the last one. That was easy. And the new brakes have been fully installed. The parking brake adjustments have been adjusted. Now if I pull up the handbrake, it doesn't turn. It actually works. On the old calipers, when I made an adjustment for the parking brake, it would work about five times and then it would stop working and it wouldn't hold the car anymore. Except sometimes, just randomly, it would start working again. I also went ahead and bled all the brakes and topped off the brake fluid in there. Anyway, the brake job is done, which means we can put the wheels back on this car. And check it out. Tires that have tread on them. So they're the same size of tire I was running before, uh, 225, 50, 15. But I have switched tires, so I'm no longer on the R888Rs. These are Bridgestone Potenza RE71 RSs. Gonna give these tires a go. I've heard good things about them, so uh, we'll see. Looking forward to experiencing them firsthand. So anyway, let's put them on the car. And normally brakes aren't really for looks, but this looks so much better than having the rusty rotors and rusty calipers and all the rusty brake parts behind these nice wheels. That looks much better. And the Miata is back on the ground, and one last look at these brakes. I know I said at the beginning of the video that I wasn't too hot on red stock calipers, and I still kind of stand by that. I would have preferred if these were silver, actually. But you know what? I like them. I think they look good. I guess it also helps that this is a red car, too, so red calipers on a red car it just makes sense. So with that, that is going to be the end of this video. The Miata now has all new brake parts and new tires to things which I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I've been putting off until it got a little warmer. It's getting a little warmer now, so it's the right time to do it. So thank you all very much for joining me today. I will be posting more on this car as I work more on this car. I've got stuff planned for this thing. We are gonna have fun with it and do some cool things with it this year, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.